See? Oh, fuck. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Got my smoothie, starting the day pretty good today. It's a beautiful day. And I got the wheels on, on the rear. Got alignment done and everything. So I'll show y'all right now while I drink my smoothie. So I did my alignment, went to Backyard Auto. It's a, the most known place for a stance guy or anybody to get an alignment because their alignment isn't a, their alignment machine isn't a, is on the ground. So like, you don't need wood, you don't need nothing to like put the car on the machine. So, ooh, got you. So right now, I'm currently running negative seven in the front and negative 10 in the rear camber. So, it looks nice. Really nice. I don't know if I should put the top down because the top up looks pretty cool too. Oh, I gotta put the center caps. Let me put the center caps first. I bought me a little toolbox too. Just in case, cause I need stuff, you know. Bought this at Harbor Freight. Oh, for like 250. Right now it's a big mess, cause I've been working on my car, and I just been doing a lot. Oh, I don't want to open. But yeah, kind of slowly building my little toolbox set. So I don't have to be borrowing from people or or anything, you know? Got drill, got a, got my jack, got my grinder, sockets, all kinds of stuff in here. Got my center caps down here. I should get the wheels polished, but I might do it myself to get it to do a video. So let's put these on and show you the bmw got the caps on let me show y'all real quick dun, 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 dun. what you guys think It looks so nice. Only issue right now is that I'm rubbing a lot. Like a lot, lot. Like I'm fucking up my core panels a lot. Look at that. Ah, shit. And that's just from me going to work and home. So I'll be cutting the core panels a little bit so I can make them fit. But the fitment looks pretty good. I 
and I'm kind of hitting the wheel as well as I sit down on the the coil panel hits the wheel and I like hit bumps pretty hard so yeah that's all that stuff all that black stuff is tired from rubbing the front rubs when I turn you can see it's tightening the chip a little bit but the fitment looks so good look at that man I'm in love with this car more But yeah, I be breaking necks when I be driving it to work. I swear, it looks so good. I just like how the BBS is just matched with the car, to be honest. BBS is go with BMW. That's how it is. So I installed the rear arms by myself. Where they at? Oh, right there. And over there. And it was a bitch. Took me two days. Well, not full days, because I'll work on it right after I come back from work. And I get here. I get home like around five. You can say five o'clock yeah i get here at five and um and the sunlight goes down like at seven so i only had like two hours maybe two and a half so i worked for like maybe yeah eight hours maybe working on this rear arms but it's a lot of work you had to remove the the bolts for the diff so the diff can wobble around i didn't want to vlog it i was pissed off i was i had to my phone and everything get it ready but once i started struggling so hard i was like man fuck that i just there's other videos that people actually just do it but i didn't really want to vlog it but yeah here it is the cherry 36 Let's put the top down. So here we have it. The convertible. E36. guys think I like it now that the weather feels good we're like at 70s hitting higher 80 well not really like hitting 85 so it feels good for a convertible BMW like this one But yeah. Oh, I have the paper for the alignment. Let me show you real quick. So this is the alignment right here. So this is the front left, front right, rear left, rear right. So I'm currently camber negative seven point two, negative seven. So it's like by 0.2 so it's really not much caster it's a little bit off and then the toe is like even right there and then the where's the rear rear camber negative 9.6 negative 9.8 so basically it's an 8 at 10 it's just by a little bit 
But if I could get more camber, I wouldn't be rubbing as much. But I don't think I can get more camber, to be honest. Unless I do, like, extra more shit. And I like the fim in here. Because I don't want to wear out tires too fast to keep replacing them. I want to be able to drive it certain days and be like yeah let's go to a ride let's go cruise a drivable setup you know this is a pretty drivable setup i just gotta stop rubbing in the back and in the front once i get coilovers it has the adjustments on top so i'm gonna have more camber a little bit so i can kind of clear there hopefully cross my fingers it works because i don't want to keep fucking up my panels But yeah, what you guys think? Comment below. I really like this car. So much fun. So much attention. It's just a nice car. But yeah, I gotta fix this rubbing. Cause look at the front. The front looks pretty good. This one rubs a little bit less than the other side, to be honest. Because this is not chipping yet. And I might get a uh, M3 bumper lip. Well, not lip, the whole bumper. This is more aggressive. Now, I'm going to just focus on like fixing this fim and stuff and worry about the interior because i hate the interior this is all beat up might get speakers might no i am gonna get speakers give me a steering wheel i don't know why it beeps give me a steering a steering wheel quick release because that would look like a boat steering wheel and yeah i got a big mess because I really don't have time to fix all these panels. Uh, do like a full detail. Get a short shifter for sure in the future. Because this sucks. So yeah, this is a quick video of how a BMW Fitment is on fire. Because look at that. It looks so good. Drop top. BBS is three piece wheels. Cambered. I love the color red. It just looks good to be honest. It's just I don't know. Might take it out today. Debating on it. Cause I wanna work on the four panels. Gotta cut them hose. And roll them a little bit. I don't know how, but I'm gonna try to see and see if i can drive it and take pictures and stuff enjoy the day because i'm off so yeah thanks for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and see you on the next video peace oh fuck, bro i was going to the gym and then cruising on the beamer And my tire defeated. So I'm stuck at this Bank of America. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I think I cracked the barrel. Either it's the barrel that's cracked. Because I was going on the highway. And out of nowhere it started smoking a lot. It started rubbing a lot. And I was like, what the fuck? So I got down on the exit. And my car like wasn't going as fast anymore. I was hitting the gas and like, I'll see this little symbol. And then, uh, and then I pulled over and I, I was hearing like scraping. I was like, fuck, that's the wheel. Good thing is that I can go a little bit more stretch so I won't rub as much. 
that's a good thing. The bad thing is I won't be able to drive it. I'll have to get my lit my barrels on the wheels. What else? That's it. Can't do much. So the car won't be driving anymore until like further notice. I really want to get more stretch though because I hate rubbing. Hate the smoke, hate everything. So I'm currently waiting for my girl to pull up. Because she has my jack in her trunk. And I'm gonna put the spare on and see how how we can make it home. Bye.